Hey everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, we are going to dive deeper into GoFish and we are going to understand everything, creating the campaign, sending the campaign, analyzing the data, creating the senders and every single thing that it is in the GoFish. That's what we are going to explore. Okay, but uh, before starting, here is a quick disclaimer. This video is only for educational purpose. Don't misuse this knowledge. If you are going to misuse this knowledge, then I'll be not responsible for your actions. Okay, back to the video. Now, in order to understand the GoFish, do, there is no need to go directly to the GoFish dashboard. Yes, we will go in this particular video. But before, let me show you one simple diagram by which you will understand the whole like GoFish dashboard in one go. Okay. So tell me one thing. So whenever there is a, any email phishing attack, how exactly the hackers supposed to think? Okay, how exactly the attackers are thinking? So let me show you how. So first of all, they will have one email list, right? So let me say email list. Then they will have uh, email created. Okay, the email, the proper email body that they have typed then they will definitely have one email server email server okay so let me say email server which they are using to send the emails right so now uh, after this email server they will definitely have one phishing link or phishing page okay so i'll say phishing link or malicious link okay or page i can say that and obviously they are going to use this particular email server by the way this email server can be here okay something like this email list email phishing page then email server and then they will use this particular email server to send the email okay send email and obviously they are going to uh, analyze that data uh, once that particular email is sent a n a l y s c analyze okay still wrong anyway um, yeah, they are going to analyze the data. So yeah, this is how the process work. This first of all, email list will be there. Then they will create actual email body. Then they will create the one phishing link. They will use all of that content the to the uh, sending email from the email server. Once email is sent and they have data, they will use that particular data to analyze. Okay. So from this particular analysis, they will come to know if there is a uh, any let's say capture uh credentials okay let's say someone is falling for phishing attack so in that case they will get capture credentials uh obviously if someone is not falling for this particular phishing attack then they will get uh false re positive okay something like that okay so basically yeah this is how the uh, stereotypical process work for the phishing and that's exactly process is replicated in the browser okay so uh, in the dashboard also let me show you how so i'll open this particular thing on the left hand side and i will open this particular gofish dashboard on the right hand side so right now in the dashboard there are four useless thing that not needed as of now please ignore that thing which four thing api documentation user guide web hook user management all of these four things are not added in this particular video so please ignore those things okay so in our process in this particular uh, email phishing process what was the most first thing email list we need to create the email list right so yes that particular option is available right here in the users and group section of the gofish how let me show you when i click on the new group option here i can create the email list so let's say I want to target the person in XYZ company. So let's say I'll say, uh, not long say, let's say employee. Okay. Em so in the employee list, let's say I am going to add the employees. Let's say there is a one company which is I'm going to target. Okay. So in that particular targeted company, the first employee is Abhi and uh, last name is whatever it is. And his, let's say, uh, email is, uh, I don't know, the email is this one. Let's say, the email of the abhi is this one okay this is the email and the position is he just employee okay employee now let me click on the ad similarly we can have one more uh employee so let's say the test not the test let's say raghav okay raghav is also going to be employee and let me click on any random last name 
or let me add uh, my last name then we are going to use the raghav's email now in the list of the employee in the raghav's email what i am going to do is i am going to use the mail testers email okay so this way we will be also able to test our email which is going through the campaign so let me just copy that email and paste it right here the position is again employee okay and let me click on the add and let me save the changes so right now i have created the list of the employees where the two members are there similarly i can create list for let's say senior management okay and uh management right and here i can add the uh position ceo i can add ceo's email i can add manager's email i can add literally any senior management position so this is just the tool for managing your user lists okay now the next thing is creating the email so that particular option is giving in the email template so email template option is quite smart option why because they are giving some tool in build tool so right now again you see it is saying email template so let's say my first template okay that's my template name so here i can use the import email option also to basically import email as it is okay so in the email body which body we should be adding so it really depends like what you are trying to do let's say i'm going to target ruleout.com uh, website users okay so this is ruleout.com let me change color to the red so that i can say this is the target so i am going to send the emails to the and i am assuming that whatever the two users that i have added in the employee list they have account on the ruleout.com so for this i am going to use one email that i have received from my one of website i am basically installing one plugin on this particular website for using the smtp connection and uh, basically they will send the weekly summary to me okay something like this okay so that's what i'm going to use so what i can do is i can simply go here by the way this email is coming from hirefluxet.com to me so it is completely not related but still i'm assuming let's say uh, the website owner the ruler website owner also installed this particular plugin and that's what i'm going to use okay i'm just assuming that completely so i'm going to click on this one and i'm going to show the original and here i'm going to click copy to clipboard okay and i'm going to back right here and paste that little content in the import email and click on the import and that should import the email and can you see the email looks exactly same and when we click on the import email right here see the change the links to the point to the landing page option was there that means whatever the links are there in the email if someone clicks on that link it will change that particular link to the our phishing page which is this one okay that we are going to create in the next step okay so let me click on the import and uh, let me save my first template but before we need to tell like from where this email is coming hence uh, we are targeting this particular ruler.com i'll say uh, admin and i'll say here info at ruleout.com okay so that's what i am going to use okay in your case you can use accordingly whatever it is but make sure that you are doing this for educational purpose okay let me go here can you see it is saying add tracking image is also unable what is the tracking image basically it will add the image which will be helpful in case we need to make sure in case like to check if the email is delivered if the email is clicked or if how many emails are there which are ignored but not clicked how many emails landed in the uh, spam and all of that stuff right i'm not sure about, about the spam but yes lot of tracking mechanism is available let me click the yes obviously i can add the files also let's say invoice or something like that reports the pdf reports i can add that too but in this one i'm just going to keep it default so let me click on this save template and yes we have template ready next thing is creating the phishing link or page for that we have option called landing pages okay so here we can create now if i click on the add first of all let me say test page here can you see it is giving the option for the import site that means i can just mention any url so let me mention the fluxet.com login and it will import the whole site right here okay can you see it is importing but see this tool will not in the uh, it will but see this tool will not work in the dynamic loaded website so fluxet.com is dynamically loaded website so that's why when i click on import can you see it is giving me crap 
so what we need is we need this statically loaded website so for this particular demonstration we are going to use login page of the ruler.com because our target is ruler.com okay so let me just click on here and i should find somewhere ruler.com email so can you see this is the page that we are going to use let me paste that particular page here to show you can you see it is the wordpress login page great of the ruler.com let me click on the import and that should load page correctly yes it is loading great great right now the admin and password this uh, field right here but that just because i have saved the password right here for this site ignore it okay let me go here let me click on the capture the submitted data whatever the username and password is there i want to capture that okay so it will automatically modify the code so that it will capture the data now once the login is done where should i redirect it should redirect it to the original website of the ruler.com which is ruler.com let me go here and let me click on the save page button now we have the phishing link ready so this is our phishing page or landing page next next thing we need to do is we need to create the email server so if you know in the last video we have already created the email server and we are going to save that in the sending profile here we can add the multiple email servers so let me add the my first email server profile name will be test server that i have added uh, smtp form will be um, admin uh, uh, from like uh, info at ruler.com right because that's what we are going to use uh, for spoof the email smtp host will be mail dot by the way i have already created the smtp host entry here so let me just copy as it is paste it right here uh, my username is going to be this one so let me go here and let me copy this paste this particular username right here uh, the password is going to be this one so let me just copy that particular password and paste it right here and ignore the certificate is added but it's not needed because i already have valid certificates in case you need to add extra headers then you can add extra headers also so i can say x testing also because i am testing uh, but i don't think so it is needed right now and yeah uh, send the test email in order to check if these credentials are valid what we can do is we can send the test email okay so once you save the sending profiles what you need to do is you need to go to the campaign where we are going to create the campaign so let me click on the create campaign and here i'll say test campaign okay or i can say admin hunt also right it, it is just a name okay i'll say admin hunt h u n t okay now let me click on the my first template which is going to be default template then landing page or phishing page or phishing link then a url is going to be the current url whatever i am using but instead of this i'm just going to use the http version why because right now we are using this particular dashboard on port 443 and our phishing page is basically hosted on this particular http version on port 80 we can make it reverse we can host that option on uh, https right here so that user also will feel confident while sharing the uh, uh like credentials but yeah this is what we are going to use as it is just a test uh, launch date is this one and then sending profile is test smtp that smtp we created and to whom i want to send i want to send these employees okay let me click on the launch campaign and it should launch and it should send the emails okay right now the email is supposed to get sent so right now can you see the email is already sent and uh, it looks like i got email too so let me go to the this particular email address so let me go to the, this particular email address and it is saying admin yes we got the email so let me click on this one so right now there are two stupid mistakes that i have done okay two stupid mistake first mistake is obviously uh it is saying your weekly wp mail smtp summary for hire.fuxit.com so basically we copied the email from the hire.fuxit.com uh <laughs> that's why this hire.fuxit.com is there let me show you so uh, if i go to the email template right here and if i click on this one uh and we have the html email right here and in this html email can you say your weekly fsmtp 
फॉर दी हायर डॉट फ्लेक्सर डॉट कॉम इट सपोज टू बी रूल आउट डॉट कॉम ओके दैट दी मिस्टेक आई हैव डन इन द सब्जेक्ट ओके लेट मी सेव दिस वन एंड लेट मी गो बैक बाय द वे सो लेट मी जस्ट मिनिमाइज एंड गो टू द ई मेल सो दिस इज टू बेड मिस्टेक बाय द वे इवन इफ आई इट इज रूल आउट डॉट कॉम देन ऑल्सो आई गेट दिस ई मेल इट लुक्स लाइक द जी मेल इज डिटेक्टिंग द स्पूफिंग बट इट इज नॉट डिटेक्टिंग इन द uh quite noticeable format how it is saying info at rulout.com so that's the spoofed email and view opentfcloud.com it is saying so that's a uh, pretty much suspicious right so but hence it is landed in the inbox it is not suspicious anymore right so if you want to add this one also then you need to make sure that your rulout.com domain uh, supposed to go here right so in case rulout.com is taken Uh, obviously it is taken then you can say ruler.net you can send from the ruler.eu uh, or something similar right now let me go here and in the email we got the links right so we have this link this link that link and whatever it is so if i just hover on the upgrade to can you see in the bottom the link is coming right and it looks like i have sent the two email so second email is also here right so and the second email also if i hover can you see in the left bottom the link is coming so if i click on this particular link it is taking me to the login page of the this ruler.com so if i click on the admin and let's say test pass okay i will enter the test password and click on the login then it will redirect me to original ruler.com that's what we did in the settings and if i go to the my campaign page i should get the results Okay, so in the campaign page, I am getting email sent to email opened one. That means tracking is working. Clicked on the link one. That is good. Submitted data by one, which is this guy. Okay. Now let me click on my name right here, and I get all of the details right here. First campaign launch on this date, this time email sent on this date, this time email opened. That time is also coming. Clicked on the link. That also time coming right here. Submitted data. from which device what everything is coming and if i click on the credentials can you see admin and test pass the credentials are also coming so yeah it is working really really great right so yes yeah this is how you can use the gofish to uh, launch your campaigns but remember until now whatever i have covered in the gofish course it is just the free videos on the youtube After this, I am going to create the advanced topics like Evil Genix integration with the Gofish, then uh, creating custom tool using Python and using the Gofish with the APIs, uh, then uh, obviously using the advanced methods to uh, make the inbox. Then obviously it is going to be creating the SMTP to send thousands of emails of the day, and lot of other options. And apart from that, if any course holder has a doubt, okay, I am talking about the people those who bought the this particular gofish course on my website if they have any topic that i supposed to cover then i am going to cover for them in that particular course and i am going to upload new video okay on demand video you can say that so yeah that's pretty much all in this particular free course if you want to check all of the advanced advanced topics then please make sure that you purchase the course and you will see the advanced topics right uh yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next and if you have any additional question then you can go to the sh like flexit.com and create the questions there lot of people are asking the questions there and community helping them to get answers for their question right you can also go here and ask the question and you will definitely get answer from community and i am also going to answer your questions right so Yeah that's pretty much all and thanks for watching see you in the next and see you in the course